we're only going to be running the 10k and we're excited because it's a different challenge from the normal 5k that I run. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, off you go runners! Best of luck guys, following the lead by... Good luck! As you may have gathered, I was at Run Through at Stratford Olympic Park, London, home of the Olympics in 2012 in, of course, London, England. The run was basically all around the Olympic Park itself, partly around the stadium. Run Through do many of the runs, all different distances. Everything up to half a marathon, they could do a one mile race. Keep an eye out on their website. So, they do one mile races, they do 5k's, 10k's, 5 and 10k days, a day which covers a one mile, 5k, 10k, and a half marathon. They've also done a 15 mile race as well. But this the other day, actually, on the 8th of August, so a couple of days ago now, was the 5 and 10k races around Stratford. They get many people coming down to do these events. They have spaces up to something like 500 of people, where 500 of people sign up and come and do this run. You can see the Olympic Park, you can see the Olympic Stadium, I should say, sorry, which is now West Ham's home football stadium in the Premier League, in the background of the start finish run. And of course, I've done the 10K. If you can't tell who I am, of course, from the last couple of pictures, I'm the one in the grey shirt. Dark grey shorts, dark blue trainers, blue strap on a Fitbit, and of course the bright yellow panels down the sides. Start of the race, of course, all went well and good. Started off feeling fresh, energetic. I thought I went with new different sketches because they got more of the foam and memory soul in in soul on them. A bit more inflated. Started off well going into an early read, of course, with the guy with the blue. It was very tight between us, but I was actually ahead. You can see the footage at the very beginning of the race as well from the start, not just the breakdown in the motion pictures that I've been sent. Because that was one of the most best races I've ever done. This is my second ever 10k race. Because the early read doesn't last long and the pace sets down. Still feeling quite good and fresh. My second ever 10k, as you may know, are on 5k every single Saturday with something called Park Run. They have it all over London, many different parks. Saturday at nine o'clock, get down on the start line. I've got a park right across me where they do it. So I literally crossed the road from my house and I'm on, on the start line. And I'm on 5K, so running 5K is no, no other hardship for me because I do it quite often. And, you know, being a sportsman, a competitor, having won four league titles, having three league titles, one in Kent, with my own team, Southern Currencies, playing a couple of games for a mate's team out in Surrey called Decker. We've also won a league out there as well, so I have one league title in Surrey. But you know, you've got to get competitive in the summer when there's no sports or activities. Despite all the many medals that I have from rugby, from playing tournaments as a kid, winning tournaments, coming second and third in tournaments, you want to achieve by yourself, you want to get your own single greatness. So. Of course, the park runs are great, you get your own track time and everything. But for me, I want to get competitive, I want to get some medals, I want something to show for my running as well. I want to be on the website, it's going all over the joint. So, of course, I go out and I do these races. This is my third run with Run Through. I've done a 5k with them at Olympic Park, Stratford. I've done another one at the Olympic Park, slightly further down near the Copper Box Arena. And then I'll come back to the very first course again. The very first course done I done was the five. The second course done on the copper box was a ten, and the same course that I went back to on the five was also a ten, where everyone starts at the same starting post. You all start off together, all five hundred people on the start line. Managed to start near the front and get close to near the front. Started hard, got the early lead, pushed them, and it all went quite smoothly. The first ten k I ever ran, I ran in fifty minutes. I run 5k as a personal best at 21 minutes 31 seconds, which is still really good. I want to get the 10k times in, and my estimated time for a 10k was 45 minutes. But then running it, it don't 
you don't feel that quickly it's harder and more difficult so keeping that same pace is hard but then you see signs before the event where like run through post stop saying you know your body can stand almost anything it's your mind that you have to convince and of course i know i could run a 10k i've done it before got actually a couple of years back when i used to run by myself with a backpack and a bottle of water in it it's just so when i stopped running i had my rehydration there ready and I was able to rehydrate instantly after a run. But now, so obviously I've knocked 10, 10 minutes off my 10k running time because I used to run 5k in over half hour. My very first 5k when I run without a backpack in a group and all that, I'd done it in 23 minutes. So it shows the cutbacks as well, you know, it's all good and all, it, all great. Times will start falling a 10k and I'm going to do more 10k races. Because life is only 10% what happens to you and 90% of how you react. So, of course, I'm, I want to be doing these races. I want to be doing these bigger events, bigger cases, earning more medals. I'm going to be signing up for more, only just 10k races. I had an option of pulling in after two laps, after the five. But I thought, no, I'm going to stay on. I ended up getting bristles on my feet because I was in unused trainers before. But it's all worth it. You know, to having these opportunities is... You get to meet hundreds of people, unique, different people. You get to see people, see how other people run, see how fast and slow people take it. Everything's just a whole experience. Say you got, you also got your food afterwards. Not much food, but it was food. You get your epic medal, Chase the Sun, because this was an evening run. This was on a Wednesday. This is my first ever weekday run. As a matter of fact, so you got an, I got this awesome medal chase of some 5 and 10k Olympic Park, Stratford. You see the copper box, the underground sign because, of course, Stratford International, you have trains, undergrounds coming from all over the place that come into Stratford. And also the Olympic Stadium itself in its old current form from 2012 look. Either way, I'm not moaning, I'm not grumbling. It's another medal, it's another success and it's another notch on my board. Also, these run-throughs have been popular. Run Weasley from Harry Potter. That was his character, of course, it's Rupert Grint. Has done the race while filming for his current programme called Sick Note. Here I am in my middle right here. So I expect to see more of me, more, more at the event and more running info. Because it's all good and great. Also managed to get on their Snapchat. Guys, don't forget, like and subscribe to see more of me.